he's gonna see this guy and want to go beat him up. Dang it. Yeah, focus on him. Focus on him. Stop moving so far so fast. Dang it. Will you kill him already? Thank you. Great shot. Now run for it. Oh, I'm running. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're cool. We're cool. They'd be wanting to make turtle soup with our poor boy. What's up, Vensons? Welcome to stream. The wolf knows how to use man-made bridges. What the heck? Good shot. Ow, that was really fast. He does half of your health in a single hit. That's pretty wild. I mean, he is a giant death wolf. Death? Death wolf? I didn't want you to see me. He's caught your scent. Get out of there. He's caught my scent. Do I really need to take a shower that bad? I'd like to find one wee bit of HP. Hey there, bud. Oh, thank you. It's exactly what I asked for. Dude, can we get this guy to join the team? Can he be a new team member? Nice. That hit home. All right, we're good. We're good. He can't. He can't jump. He ain't got hops. Nice work, big game hunter. The skunk bomb is kicking in. He's almost asleep. E Z. Guru, you're up. You should be able to possess the giant wolf now that he's out. Let's do it. Let's get him. Hold down these thugs. Sup, losers. This is so much fun. You just get to run around the level committing murder as a giant death wolf. What more could you ask for from a video game, man? Oh, I got stuck in the center here. There was an enemy up here. Where'd he go? Do you want some rabbit stew? Come here, bud. Eat up. Wolves love the taste of rabbits in the morning. Rabbit season. Duck season. Rabbit season. Duck season. Duck season. Rabbit season. I missed. This guy's gonna dodge and look at him go. Oh, you shouldn't have jumped down here, you idiot. There we go. I knew I'd get you eventually. Cheese! Woo! <laughs> Goodbye. Wash off my little pawsies. Don't mind me. Six more murders to go. It really is crazy to think about how the entire Sly Cooper gang is just a pack of mass murderers. You ever think about that? Like... No wonder we're the most wanted criminals of all time, I assume. Like, our body count is insane. We, we may as well be considered a natural disaster. That's ten fewer pilots in the finals tomorrow. Idiot ran himself into a corner. Yo! Bacon! Oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> I have to start over, don't I? Oh, I'm such an idiot! I got so caught up in the murder! That I just immediately was like, I'll just press square. What could go wrong? It's not like there's a giant river right behind there. Wolves can swim, can't they? Well, I guess nothing can swim in the Sly Cooper universe now that I think about it. Nothing except for Dimitri. That's fine. Now I just get to commit more genocide. Like, honestly, I see this is an absolute win. Do you see that one pig way up top there who's probably thinking like, oh man, I'm so safe up here. The wolf can't operate buttons to use the elevator to get up here, thankfully, so I got nothing to worry about. He probably thinks he's the safest man on the seven seas right now. I cannot hit this. There we go. Ow. Little did he know... Dead. That the wolf can go up the ramp. So oh my word, the lag! How Dude, I was getting like maybe two frames a second there. Did you see that? Cloud gaming, man. I hate cloud gaming. I wish they'd re-release these games on PS5. All four of them. Let me platinum trophy them again. Ow. Alright, let's get the mission done before I accidentally kill myself again. That's ten fewer pilots, just three more to go. Ten fewer pilots, just three more to go. Ow! 
All right, we're fine. We're fine. Don't don't let the rabbit trick you into killing yourself. One more pilot and it's a done deal. One more pilot. Who's going to be my last snack? This pig right up here. Man, imagine you just see this thing coming and jumping at you repeatedly like this. Could you imagine? This is horrifying. This is risky. I'm good. Excellent. That should even the odds tomorrow in the finals. Job complete. I think after we finish Flight of Fancy chat, we will probably go do some of the challenge missions in the previous two episodes. Because we're not, the game says we're not even 20% done yet, but we're way closer than 20% done. It's just because I've done none of the challenges. And I like the challenges in this game, I find them very fun. Replaying levels with more modifiers or little extra bonus things to do, I'm a big fan. Get me. Come on. There you go. And what you got there, bud? All right, bronze pocket watch. It's only bronze, but that's fine. Yo, 69, nice. 369. Windmill firewall. Oh, we finally get to do hacking missions again. You know what? Let's go do hacking missions first. We'll save Beauty and the Beast for last because I really like the Beauty and the Beast level. Yeah, don't mind me. There's nothing to see here. Oh, dang it, he has something shiny. I shouldn't have gotten caught. Oh, well. Let's just do the mission. Worry about money some other time. How do you plan to hack into the aircraft control tower? It's simple, really. The whole system is linked through computer nodes which monitor the power generated by the nearby windmills. Seriously? All the power around here comes from the local windmills? I thought they were just for looks. The control nodes tell a different story. How do you plan to get up there? It's pretty high. My turbo chair has been outfitted with an extra afterburner. Heights such as that are nothing to me. Yeah, so if I hadn't already bought the hover pack, which is the quad jump, the game would have told us, like, hey, you can't do this mission until you buy the, the hover jump. Because it's one of the... There are, like, four or five gadgets in the game that you have to have to be able to do some of the missions, and this is one of them. This one, the paraglider, the grapple cam, and I think silent obliteration. That might be the only four. There might be another one. I don't recall. Prepare yourself, computer. I will show no mercy. It's time for the return of hacking mini games. Let's go. All my homies love the hacking mini games in the Sly Cooper franchise. This data stream looks protected. Looks like Ow. I might need to transport the circular lockdown code. The circular Finally, lockdown code. I think the hacking mini games are even better in this game than they were in Sly 2. They added a couple of new mechanics that I enjoy. Oop. Another falls before my digital kung fu. Hi -ya, ya, ya. I remember in my language, Dutch, Bentley said that to thin the guards, they had to give the wolf the taste of the guards so that the wolf would eat them and lessen the flyers. Really? That's what he says in episode two in English to give the crocodile a taste for guards. Are you sure you're not just remembering that? Or did the Dutch translation for some reason make Bentley say the same thing for both separate missions? Hello there, shiny object. Don't mind if I do. Get me. And yoink. Uh, dude, silver medals. Why I tell you, they're all over the place. Tons of silver medalists. Tons of first place losers around here. Cloud gaming lag. Don't mind that. Another shiny object before I get to my next hack, you say? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do at all. Whoop. Come on. One more, one more. One more, thank you. Do, 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 do. Well, 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 Mr. Windmill. 
prepare to be conquered by the best turtle hacker this side of the Mississippi. Come, grasshopper. Kneel before the feet of the master. See, he's a nerd. Looks like they're going to put up a little fight this time. Oh, that's a lot more than a little fight, Bentley. You lied to me. That's a lot of fight. Are you out of your mind? The Holy Bentley! What do you think little means? Help? All right, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Just had to get through that initial onslaught. Now we're set. Holy cow. I'm telling you, the hacking missions in Sly 3 don't play around. Stay back. Mm, a digital black hole? You gotta have to hack around it. What do you think's inside the digital black hole? I kind of want to find out. Now I walked into that like a buffoon. Don't mind me, I'm just playing poorly. Nothing to see here. It's just the it's just the usual. You all know how it is if you've been watching me for a while. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, I said. There we go. Ow. Fine. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Alright, we're good, we're good. That was way too close. Should not have been that close, but it was. Don't mind me. Just passing by. Oh, I hope they had something shiny. Away! Dude, I love the cheese jumps. Don't worry, my pet. I'll make this quick and painless. Hacker voice. Put that black hole there. Oh dear. Go away. Ow. How many hits can you take? Thank you. None to see here, none to see here. Nope. Nope. I said nope. There you go. I'm gonna need to yoink that. Thank you, thank you. Let's just kill that fool and then we'll go in. Easy. Pardon me, Mr. Black Hole. That black hole isn't even a black hole. It's like a green spinny hole. Oh, these things shoot. Oh yeah, moving shooters send help. The momentum on them getting hit and whatnot is insane. All right, don't worry about any of the enemies. Just strafe, just strafe like a gamer. Get in, get in. Ah, oh, dude, Excellent. I'm built different. Now for the aircraft control tower. Once it's hacked, the system will be mine. How powerful do you think Bentley would be in the Cyber Sleuth universe? His partner would definitely be Eben Wumon, and he'd be unstoppable. Like he'd he'd be among the greatest hackers of all time. He'd be like the best hacker that wasn't a, that wasn't like on the main team. Like, probably second best after the main character and, like, Erica, probably? Maybe Ryuji? You'll have to use your auxiliary afterburner to get over to that computer. Jump as far as you can towards it, then goose the Yeah, I'm already in slot. Ah, my final opponent! Hacker voice, I'm in. Looks like they saved the big code for last. How that be? Excuse me, pardon me, pardon Oh my goodness! Yeah, they saved a lot of big codes. See, this is why I like the hacking missions even more in Sly 3. They're also really good in 2, don't get me wrong. Hacking missions are fun. But in Sly 3, they're, like, way more difficult. They got a lot more going on, and I love that. Pardon me. What is this Star Wars nonsense right here? What are these giant ships? Oh, no, they're coming from behind. Help. Hey, I need that. I need that. I need that. They're everywhere. Send help. All right, that's fine. Just clear everything out. We're good. We're good. We're good. Go fast. Go fast. More orange boys are going to spawn behind us. Get me out of here. He's done it. Success! I've got total access. Wait, the, the code's unstable. Everything's speeding up. Well. Windmill throwing stars, eh? This little system bug might come in handy. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, just some casual windmill throwing stars. I'm sure the Black Baron won't notice that that happened and we'll be able to use it to surprise him later. Totally. 
I really hate that this blimp is right here because I want this shiny object, but this blimp is gonna catch me. Get out of here, you dumb blimp. I need this money. I'm poor. Do you know how expensive it is to run this Cooper gang nonsense? This organization? It takes a lot, man. Like, a lot. And all these dang silver medals are not gonna pay for it all. I need more. You got something shiny too? You don't. Lame. Lame. All three of the missions on day two of the Holland operation start with Bentley, which I find funny. Well, let's get on over to Beauty and the Beast, lads. Woo! Excuse me, pardon me. Also, when you do that mission, as you can see here, the water level goes up, and now you uh, take damage if you go into that because the water is too deep, which is how the, the world is for the rest of the game. Which I think it's really neat that you have a mission that actually affects the the world long term like that. Man, that guy saw me right before I put him to sleep and killed him, huh? What a way to go. It's time we dealt with Bugshot. We can't risk him taking down the Baron before you in the finals. Not to mention he deserves a little payback for what he did to our aircraft hangar. True, true. Since Mugshot's assault, the Baron has been keeping an eye on him. We can't find him out in the open for risk of getting disqualified. Thankfully, Inspector Fox is out in the field looking for us. I hear you. We'll set them against each other. Mugshot is an international criminal, after all. Carmelita won't be able to resist. My only concern is for Inspector Fox's safety. Oh, don't worry about her. She's more than a match for a meathead like Mugshot. Okay, I'll pick a fight with Mugshot and bait him into meeting in the town square for our rumble. You do that. I'll get Carmelita's attention and lead her back here to the same place. Agreed. I've got to hand it to you, Bentley. This is a really underhanded plan. Why, thank you. I'm feeling pretty good about it. There's no way a great A waifu like Carmelita would ever lose to Mugshot, no matter how big his muscles are. It just can't be done. All Carmelita has to do is challenge Mugshot to a kicking competition, and there's no way Mugshot's legs can effectively do anything. I so love that all the gang gets these fancy little, like, pilot outfits. For this level. I also love that bit of music that just played. It's like the normal music is playing, but it's got Mugshot's theme mixed into it. I love it. Well, 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 buddy, how's it going? I'll beat it, twerp. The Black Baron's been giving me the grill since that event in your hangar. Perhaps you'd like to take out some frustration by engaging in a physical battle with me outside in the town square. No way. I'm being watched here. That, and it wouldn't feel right pounding a four-eyed runt in a wheelchair. At least Mugshot has some level of morals. <laughs> I've got to bait him into a fight. Maybe I should insult his record against the Cooper gang. I'm sure you wouldn't win in the fight anyway. You've got such a long, sad history of losing to the Cooper gang. I could whip your whole gang with one arm if you jerks would sit still. Look at these arms. I'm unstoppable. Yeah, if we just stood still and let you punch us, I imagine. But we're not idiots. Do you even know what I'm saying to you? Or are you too stupid to understand the words coming in through your ear holes? What? What's an ear hole? <laughs> Talk sense, why don't you? What? He's too stupid to make fun of how stupid he is. That's, that's a level of skill that I can't imagine. That's insane. I also love how Bentley says stupid. It reminds me of Jean Basson. My head is spitting from your breath. What, do you gargle with raw sewage every night before bed? Yeah, you're half right. I find a nice tang to my breath helps maintain my personal space. Fair, fair. You know, I've been thinking about your appearance. Look, 
If you don't got nothing to say nice, then don't say nothing at all. Get it? What? Ain't got no sassy comments, smart guy? Oh, I get it. You got nothing nice to say, so you're keeping quiet. That's real cute. <laughs> you really got nothing nice to say? That's cold. That's cold, man. That's cold. I love the Bentley dead stare when Mugshot is like, you can't say anything nice, don't say anything nice. This is one of my favorite bits of dialogue in this entire game, is Bentley just dead staring him. Your mother was a broken down tub of junk with more gentleman callers than the operator. Nobody talks that way about my mother. Nobody! Okay, little broken down runt. Looks like you're gonna get broken down even more. Town Square, five minutes. Please don't be late. Bentley, that was savage. He just went all in on his mother there. What the heck?